giraffe, a journey of giraffe. A female on the left, and then two little calves. Munching away in the morning sunlight. Uh, bear with me, I'm sorry, I have to just get onto the Game Drive comms and chat to the guys about Shadow, because it sounds as though, in a devastating way, it sounds as though she might have just gone out of our traverse area. So bear with me one second, I just want to confirm that. Tristan, Tristan for Jamie. Oh, good morning. Um, has Shadow crossed into EP yet? Copy that, thank you very much. Okay, we've got good news. It looks as though Shadow is going backwards and forwards. So we've got interesting dynamics, and we'll chat, to the, we'll chat about those in a moment. But for now, we have some lovely giraffe to look at. Now, apparently yesterday, on the Sunset Safari, there was a giraffe that... Did you call it the pirate? Oh, James, did. James did. James called it the pirate, with one eye. An old bull giraffe. I don't know where he is at the moment. We've just got these two little ones with their cohort of ox peckers. Oop. And baby giraffe are the most amazing looking things because giraffe as they are, the longer you look at them the weirder they start to look. I don't know what it is, there's just something so completely unique about them. But baby giraffe even more so because they're so disproportionate when compared to the adults. Even one this age, which is a couple of months old, probably I would guess at about hmm six, seven months old, they've still got that disproportionate look. Really, really long legs so that they can keep up with the adults and really short necks so that they can still suckle from their mothers. Gives them a totally different image to the adults. Nibbling away. They can actually be surprisingly noisy when they move through an area. I've, mi I've, been, I've mistaken the sounds of a giraffe moving through the bush for an elephant. Lovely. The difference, of course, between giraffe and antelope species with their ossicones, the horns on the top of their head, they are born with those. So it's not like our antelope species that they start to grow from about six months of age. In giraffe they are born with them, they're very they're basically cartilage when they're born and they lie flat against the skull so that they don't damage the mother when the mother gives birth. And then they start to stand up within a couple of hours of birth which is a phenomenal process when you think about it. These little cartilage protrusions that then <laughs> stand upright and are reinforced with bone and a giraffe, when it's born, has a very, a sort of a shocking entry into the world. Nothing says, welcome to the world, baby, than a two-meter drop. Because li a giraffe don't lie down to give birth. They give birth standing up. I remember when I was a child, a guide telling me, and I'm, <laughs> you get good guides and you get bad guides. And one of the rumors that I was told, or one of the, the sort of old guides old wives tale, the equivalent of an old wives tale for guides is that baby giraffe don't survive unless they have that two meter drop which is of course complete nonsense they would be absolutely fine regardless but it just goes to show how tough they truly are hundred, mm, close to a hundred kilogram baby dropping two meters and now at a couple of months old almost completely weaned of giraffe. 